Hello, oh, this afternoon I'm going to be doing the video notes for test 12.2. Some of this is um, was supposed to be an investigation that you did in class, so I'm not going to go through the investigation, but I'm going to give you the notes that you need in case you were absent. So, the first set of notes is at the bottom of page 8. Um, it's the definition of vertical angles. Vertical angles are formed when two lines are intersecting, these angles are across from each other. They are not adjacent. Vertical angles are always congruent. So an example of a diagram, if I draw two lines that intersect, any two lines, what we know about those lines would be vertical angles are congruent. So this angle and this angle are vertical. They are not adjacent. You can notice that they form an X. Vertical angles must form a perfect X. The other pair of congruent angles in my diagram is this pair that I am highlighting with two tick marks in green. Those angles are also congruent and they're also vertical angles. Okay, so we can use that to help us solve some problems. So if we look at this first example, what is the measure of JL, JHL? Well, if I highlight JHL, well, I just looking at it, I have no idea. And so I have to figure out where can I get that information from? Well, I know that if I highlight the piece of the angle that I'm missing, these two angles, this forms an X with angle LHK, so angle LHK and angle NHP are vertical angles. They form an X, therefore this angle here has to also be 46 degrees. So the measure of angle JHL, which I highlighted in green, so I will highlight in green here so you know that it matches, has to be 60 plus 46, which is 106 degrees. Next, I need JHN. Well, I still, I'm in another situation here. So one of the things that I would suggest when you have a picture that looks like this, just find all the angles first and then go back and answer the questions. So let's just find, let's take a minute to find the rest of the angles in this picture. Well, Let's, what can we do with this 60 degrees? Well, if I continue the 60 degrees and mark it like the X, I know that the other side, another way to think of it is maybe a bow tie, right? Two sides of the bow tie are both 60 degrees. Okay, so I have four of my six angles. I'm still not sure about these. And the way that I can find it is to use what we learned in 12.1. That is line must be 180 degrees, right? We know that. Therefore, I know that this angle, if these two angles added up together, we just found it was 106. I know that this angle must be 180 minus 106, which would give me 74 degrees. So this angle is 74, and because it's a vertical angle over here, this angle is also 74 degrees. Now we can answer all of the other questions. The next angle we need to find is JHN. Angle JHN is this angle, and you can see that that is, if you look at the, if you, as long as you identified it on your picture, it's easy to see that we have to do 74 plus 46, and that will give us 120 degrees. And then the last angle is angle KHP. KHP, it's this angle. Now you can see in blue, if I add the two blues together, what's highlighted with the blue is 60 and 74. So that would be 60 plus 74, which equals 134 degrees. And I can highlight this in blue so that you can identify and go back and forth. Um, just remember when you're calculating this, you don't have to go in order. I really recommend you fill in your picture what you know and then, an and then answer these questions. It's easier. Okay, 
All right, now I'm going to move on to the exterior angles of the triangle. Again, there was another investigation, but I'm not going to talk specifically about the investigation. I'm just going to give you the notes of what you needed to figure out. All right, so an exterior angle is an angle that is a linear pair to the interior angle of a triangle. So for instance, triangle, this is the inside pair, and in, it's inside interior, by interior I mean inside the triangle. Exterior is outside the triangle. So if you extend any angle, do you see how this becomes a line here? These two angles, this is the interior angle, this is the exterior angle, it's on the outside. That's what exterior angles are. So the exterior angles in this picture is this angle, this angle, and this angle. It forms a linear pair to an interior angle that's right next to it, that's adjacent to it. Okay, so two interior angles that are detached from the exterior angle Detached is one way to think of it, or um, another way to think of it is not adjacent. Right, so if I look at angle one, this is an exterior angle. Right, angle one is exterior, angle one is exterior. There are three angles inside in the interior of any triangle. The remote interior angles are the ones that are away from it, that is not adjacent. And so the, this angle and this angle. So angle A and angle B are remote interior angles to angle one. So that's the relationship. Angle one is an exterior angle. Angle BCA is adjacent, so that's not the one we want. We need the remote ones. They're far away. They're detached from this angle, not adjacent, either way, however you want to look at it. Okay, the next one is the exterior angle theorem. Okay, so now this, we talked about what an exterior angle is. We talked about the remote interior angles. There's a relationship between these two, and the relationship is that the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. So if we look at this picture, we can state, so this is your example using the picture, the measure of angle A, which is here, plus the measure of angle B, which is here, equals this angle which is the measure of angle one. So you can add these two and it will equal the third angle that's on the outside. Okay, so let's talk about how to use this. Well, the measure of angle three, three is exterior, right? So I need to use the two remote interior angles. This is angle is adjacent. We don't want this angle. We're more concerned about these angles. So the measure of angle three equals the sum of 30 degrees plus 125 degrees, which is 155 degrees. That is the measure of angle three. So this angle is 155 degrees. All right now let's look with setting up equation. This one's a little more complicated, but we have to set up an equation. Um, if we could think about it like this picture, right, the outside angle is angle one, and these are the remote interior angles. And we just talked about this, right? The measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals the exterior angle. So if we use that logic here, then 3x plus 23, adding the two remote interior angles, should equal 4x minus 7. That's the equation, and now we have to solve for x. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides, negative x, which is right, like negative 1x, I can put there, 23 equals negative 7. I'm going to subtract 23 from both sides, negative 1x 
equals negative 30, divide by negative 1, x equals 30. I wanted to find x, and this is the value of x. If I had asked you for the angle measures, you could find them, right? So this angle, then, would be 3 times 30, which is 90 degrees. Does this look like a 90 degree angle? No, but we have to follow whatever we're given. So even though it doesn't look like it, if I asked you for this angle, you could tell me it's 90 degrees. This angle, I would do 4 times 30 minus 7, which is 120 minus 7, which is 113. So this angle is 113 degrees. Now, I know you weren't asked for it, but I just wanted to show you how you would, you would take the x and plug it back in to get the appropriate angle measure. Okay, um, that's all there is for this task, 12.1, 12.2. The rest is the RSG, so that's it. Have a good day. Thank you.